So we're here in Sholden today, just walking around. Oh my, what is that beautiful blonde hair? <gasps> Alice oh. Hong, no way, hello. hello. That's the new me. <laughs> Welcome to Sholden, Norway. <laughs> I don't know anything else about it. We're here in Skjolden right now and we're going to have a great day! It is beautiful here, as you can see. Lots of clouds. And we are all very caffeinated. In total, we probably consumed 10 cups of coffee among this group this morning. Yeah. So, Tense moment when he kept coming towards me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have the same cup as RWS but different color? Oh, this is rice. They look so similar. Not really. I think, well, this is a camel bag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, so fortunate. Mountains everywhere. This little town itself is very isolated. It's at the end of the longest fjord in Norway, outside of a tiny little village. And then from that tiny little village, you have to walk. I keep interrupting the vlog. Hi. I have the most beautiful view right now. Let's take a picture. He's right. It'll tell you, it'll scan the picture and tell you what kind of plant it is. I'm gonna do that with this plant. I just realized my camera has selfie mode. I just have a lot of shots of you taking pictures. Doesn't do anything. Fun? Yeah, what about you guys? Did you guys? Yeah. I think shortcut is like that. Straight. Oh, you include the meadow? Yeah, we walked through there. I'll race you. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you so fast? <laughs> well, that was nice. That was fun, yeah. So, when we started hiking out of the cruise port of Skjolden, we were thinking about maybe doing a uh, 
circumnavigation of the lake, which uh, is not visible right now, but it's just about 100 meters behind us. It's called the Eidsvatnet. And um, crossed a very rickety uh, suspension bridge through a little bit of forested area. Go. Are you okay? Stand in the light and the light hitting his head from the height. You wanna get down? Yeah. This one is softer. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you okay? It's it weird though. That's what I'm saying. This is more softer. We hiked past a waterfall, a glorious waterfall. We're at one of the waterfalls. Do you remember which one? I think it's called the Vasakin Waterfall. <laughs> and it's And then we saw a hut on the mountainside. <laughs> I believe it was yellow and, uh, and elevated. And we saw a placard uh, in front of us that said that that was the hut where the famous philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein had lived briefly, roughly a century ago. So then we got the idea, maybe we can visit this hut. And so we kept hiking, we followed the signs, and then we started climbing, climbing, oh climbing. Whoa! I have no idea where we're going. But I see footprints, so... Careful though. Okay, I've already fallen twice, it's okay. <laughs> Folks, I'm doing this all in my head, so... Hopefully there's... The Wittgenstein... House waiting for us at the end. Or hut, I should say. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh! oh. Hey! Wow. I should just take a moment. I feel like I'm climbing on a dragon's back or something. Oh, how? Wait, where? When did that happen? Just now, I scratched on the This is dangerous stuff, folks. Dangerous stuff. Oh, of course. Oh. Of course. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. I'm glad you found it. We're going to go to uh, the uh, Wittgenstein Pusit or the uh, Fortune or the Estvat. How, how was the Wittgenstein? Oh, we didn't go there. Oh. <laughs> It's um, oh, it's very, it really, really very steep and very muddy, and you have to climb with a rope. Oh. And uh, but but I mean, <laughs> you get a nice view of the lake from this side. <laughs> Ben. I'm here with Alice. We are adventurers. 
And we're here at the beautiful lake uh, Skjorden for them. Oh, that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this here is the house of Ludwig von Oosterschneisen. And he lived here in 1868 and he also died here. A lonely man. But the, the view is very beautiful. His grave is up on the hill and it says his ghost haunts this house. It's a beautiful house. I feel like I'm doing HDTV. <laughs> okay, we're going back down now. As you can see, it's very steep and a little treacherous. Are you going to climb that with one hand? Sure. Uh, it gets really slippery here. Okay. So I would actually use two hands. Okay, bye everyone. Kids, always face your fears. <laughs> But now we know how Ludwig Wittgenstein <laughs> would get home and out of his home every day, which is what we were wondering when we were seeing it from afar. So um, all good things have come out of this mini excursion. It's like this. Ah! Careful. Hey. <laughs> Don't so. be tripping. It was quite a day. There's no doubt about it. We're in paradise. There's a little tea. Bye. <laughs>